Hello, my name is Sajid Talesa and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be discussing about a storybook. Okay. So for explaining that concept, I'm using my own personal website, which I developed recently using React. Uh, you can find how to create this type of website. Uh, I've created a video for this uh, on my YouTube channel. It will get released on 3rd of August. So you can definitely find it. And uh, let's just start. So what happens is when you're working on a really big project, there are various types of buttons. There are various types of text. There are various types of images, icons. There are various combinations of each and everything. Okay. I have created this very simple website, but in this also, I can show you those combinations. For example, this is a logo that I have. Okay. Uh, this icon plus name is my logo, for example. So this is currently in black. If I scroll down, it is in black, white, right? So same logo has two variation black and white okay and it's the same component same uh, ui that i've created i'm just controlling its color okay that's first second let's talk about this text okay i have named this entire text it is not indirectly it's sum of two separate text but uh, i have created a variable weight text component and used that what it means is that inside variable text component the first text will be black sorry will be regular font and the second text will be dark okay but here also there are various variations for example in this one the first one is different second one is lighter okay uh, the color is black but if we go to here the color becomes white so how are we controlling that so for all all those things we can easily write code but assume your website has become really big now some new developer on you you onboard some new developer and Assuming that there are easily tens of buttons, 20 types of text views, 100 types of cards, for example, 100 kinds of component and various multiple variations in that. Okay, now it will take really long time for any developer to understand code and figure out, okay, these things are happening like this. So for that, we have as a system design, uh, as a designing pattern, what we use is Storybook. What it allows us is we can see all variations of a specific button in a storybook, all variations of variable text view in a storybook. So basically we can define, hey, look, this is a component and there are various variations of this. You can see it, play around with it. And based on that, you can also decide how you can create a UI for your own. For example, let's start working on that. A story book. Let's add that. Sorry, not a story slash book, a storybook. Let's add that first. And for that, I'll go to get started. Inside that, I'll select react with wheat because I've created my project with wheat. And let's use this. I'll open new tab in my resume website project, which is a react project. Let's use this. Okay, it will take some time, uh, but it will set up some files and everything for us. Okay. After that, I don't have to upgrade automatic migration. I don't have to do anything this. I'll have to check this property if I need this or not. Okay, this is a manual migration. We don't need that actually. Okay, now once that is done, this type of UI will appear. Okay, they will provide us with some examples. We'll try to explore those examples. And after that, we'll try to set up our own story design system in this. Okay, so not system design, design system. It's a different thing. Okay, let's see. There are still installing dependencies. But if we go to code, they have made changes to ASLint file only, nothing else. Let me close everything else. Let's wait for them to install all the dependencies. So in terms of backend, you can, like if, if there is an analogy related to backend, in backend, we create a lot of APIs. So for that, to showcase any developer that, hey, look, these are the APIs, these are the parameters, this is how you use them. We create API documentation using Swagger or some other tool. Similar to that in front end, we create this storybook, okay? Uh, next, okay. So this is the button that we have. Now, if I change this primary to false, it will change to the color. If I change the text here, to register, we can see the text has changed. We can change the background color here. Background color is changed. We can change the size, medium, small, 
large and it will start changing so these are all the variations that we can pass as a developer right now similar to this i'll create my own system okay so what i will do is there are two folders that they have added one is the storybook and second one is this stories inside source so if i go to storybook i can see they are using react Read, all the onboarding related things all the libraries that they need to set up our uh, basic thing right now let's go to preview okay everything is fine now let's go to stories they already have a button they already have a header so header looks like this okay logged in header will look like this logged out header will look like this so they are providing us all the variations directly okay now what i want to do is i want to add my own story so this stories.js is the extension that we have to use for what type of thing i want to create my own story so button is a component here similar to that in my code i have a component called logo i'll use the simple one first logo okay and it has only one property which is invert so basically two variations either light or dark so i'll create a stories new file logo dot stories dot js or jsx either one is fine now i will open this stories click open in split right let's open this right side okay now based on that i'll start writing code here so i'll have to first import my component which is logo from dot dot slash component slash logo great now once i have imported that i will have to define it so export default what should be the title the title should be so they have written example slash button which resulted in okay uh the issue is that i have created this file i i'll show it to you so example slash button means example will be, will be the section and inside that there is a button so if you check the ui here you can see example inside example we have button header page but we don't want that we want it at the main root level so i will directly name it as logo okay what component should i use for that not component component i want to use my logo component for that are there any parameters that i want to pass like should that logo be centered in the screen or where it is we don't want that for now and do we want to add auto tags yes this will automatically add the documentation i'll show it to you everything don't worry about these things what should be the control argument as we don't need that right now now this is the basic setup once we do this basic setup actually there is nothing right now because we'll have to add something so for that i'll use export const and i'll mention default post i can name it anything i want but i'll use default as my name and in that i'll pass arguments it takes only one argument which is invert so i'll pass invert equals to false okay now let's see we can see logo name is coming here why is this name coming here because we have mentioned logo here for example if i mention rajat this will get changed to rajat right so let's change it again to logo now if we drop down there are two things docs and default why is docs coming up here it looks like this why is it coming here because we have added tags auto doc if i remove it it will be gone but i want to add it because it, it provides us the option that how it will look at the same time what are the parameters and all but it is coming in it is getting represented incorrectly so we'll fix that because if you see this is not the font and we are not showing it top bottom it's completely different right so what we'll have to do is add css to story book okay i'll need to link our css here so i think i can just import it here import dot dot slash source slash our main index.css if i link it here i think they will fix it automatically yes this logo has been fixed automatically so let's close this now i want this to be in if if i click on default this is the default i can change this te text to anything for example let's close this we don't need this now uh i can mention xyz and it will be written as xyz here 
okay so i hope you have understood i normally keep default or primary default means that if you don't pass anything what will or if you pass the minimum required details what it will look like okay now similar to this i'll write or maybe instead of default i should like write dark low dark and light okay so if it is light i need to invert this true okay we can see that it is looking light but it would be better if i can change the background color right so for that we have something called as parameters i think change background color for storybook yes we have backgrounds so what i will do is i will define these colors here inside this so I'll, instead of twitter and all those things i'll write white which is the default white and black so if it is white we want color to be ff 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 and if it is black we want color to be not 000 but 1e1 1e1 okay now let's use that uh, using this inside dark we don't need it so let's not add it but inside light we need this to be black and we can see dark background is already there okay and on dark it looks like this and documentation they have provided it and at the same time we can play it here also actually true false similar to that on light i can change it to false true and it will start changing accordingly now similar to this i'll add one more component so that you can understand things okay so i'll pin this i'll create a new file variable font text variable weight text dot stories dot uh jx yes yes now let's copy this entire thing paste it here and i will simply change logo to variable text very variable weight text great now let's see what's the result here let's remove this let's remove this we don't need this and we can see variable text is coming here now by default it has generated the docs because in variable text we need first text and it has already mentioned star which means we do need this second text reverse and invert okay so again i'll create some options uh what are those options let's first create the default And in that case, I just need to pass the first text, which should be my, for example, and second text, which should be experience. Okay, I mentioned it incorrectly. Let's close this logo and make it this and if i click on default we can see my experience is appearing here we can change the first text second text here we can invert the booleans here okay and you can see how it gets changed so that's how someone can experiment this with all these now let me try something else default then light text for that i'll use invert and use the same value so we can see light text will look like this but for that i should use background so for that let's copy this paste it here get rid of this okay now we have only two options default and dark light text refresh light text look like this default looks like this great now let's use the inverse text so i'll copy this entire thing and use inverse text okay and in that i won't use these parameters i will simply use reverse and i should 
reverse text. Refresh and we can see reverse text looks like this. Light text looks like this. Default looks like this. So as a new person who is coming to this design system as a developer, by the way, I've seen design systems which like easily fills out this left section two to three times. That many components get created in a really big project, right? So uh, when you're creating such projects, it's, it, it helps, right? And I hope you have understood this, why it's important, how it works. It is a very basic example, uh, but the point is that you should be aware of a storybook and you should be aware when to use it. Otherwise, you can directly go to the documentation. It's really easy. It's, it's not a big deal, okay? That's it for now. If you like this video, do comment, share, subscribe. And if you want me to create some other videos in Ruby on Rails or React, uh, do let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.